Hi Sharon, yes it is much cooler and it's supposed to be much cooler till Friday when we are going to get again more more hot weather anyway so today i want to show you what uh, you know the difference between uh, regular mokumegane and stamped mokumegane is that in the regular you just uh, stack different colors and then you start deforming that stack and then you take slices of it while in the stamped one you do have haisu you do have a base color and then one or two uh, sometimes even um, other colors stacked on top but the colors stacked on top are usually very very thin a very very thin layer hi janine hi carlene so uh what i'm going to use is because i thought this would look the best is the mambo texture of Helen Braille and you can find this both on Polyclay Play and on my Amazon influencer store uh, but again I thought that this would give the best I'm going to have to I might it might not come out as I envision it to because of my lack of strength in the arms and hands so I'm just hoping I can press it enough and I guess the the cold front started pushing through because uh, my ears are popping big time so if you see me yawn this time it's not an unexplainable yawn it's just because my ears are popping so the first one that I'm going to show you involves a, a background sheet hi Karen hi Lianka hi Lane thank you for making it so a white pearl background uh, and it's going to be this kind of dirty uh, Skinner blend that is made using one part ultramarine blue with one part uh, jungle green and if you don't have excuse me if you don't have any more jungle green because it's out of uh, production remember to look on my website kalyanadesign.com to get the recipe for it and then two parts white and why I said it's a dirty one because I'm not going to go with it all the way through to make it beautiful and very 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 delicately gradienty uh, thing I'm going to make it slightly uh, dirty as in the colors not being perfectly mixed but what I want to do is I want to get rid of this completely white thing because I do not want completely white sorry I am very very sensitive to changes in uh, in atmospheric pressure I actually it's a funny thing I live in Oklahoma City right and Oklahoma, Oklahoma City is on a very, very mild, hi Darla, very mild uh, hilly area. And I'm talking like differences of between the bottom of the hill and the top of the hill, anywhere from 50 to 70 feet with a uh, very few areas in the in the city that can go as much as a hundred or a hundred and fifty feet when i am in those areas <laughs> if i'm driving over those hills my ears pop so you can see that i am very so see i'm pushing the color through towards the white um so i'm very very sensitive to
air pressure to finish my phrase so yeah you're gonna have to go a few times with it through the machine because obviously it will uh, take a little bit to properly mix because we are talking about a very dark color plus white that makes that makes for uh, a lot of passes through the machine. <laughs> on the uh, vertical. Hi James, good to see you. Hi Sandra. All right, and now I'm going to make a, a round plug with the white in the middle. And we are even supposed to have some rain today and tonight, which is, oh my God, I cannot believe it. Of course, I still have that crappy white. And yeah, you can obtain a very beautiful uh, grayish teal if you do that specific combination with uh, one part ultramarine, one part uh, jungle green and one part uh, two parts white if you want to make it lighter add three parts white all right so I did this and then just to make it easier to work with I'm going to nicely square squarify it So it would be easier to work on with. And I have my white here. And of course, I'm going to resin the whole thing so you can uh, um, see how it's going to look. And I still do um, suggest that it will look much better if it's just sanded and buffed but if you don't have sand you cannot sand and buff then of course you can resin so i'm going to as you can see this is oh my god relatively small i am so sorry <laughs> uh relatively small so if you made it wider and you can make it wider and use it for any other combinations than the one that I'm suggesting just go ahead and um, experiment so considering that I'm going to need it small and this is going to go with a regular gold the white pearl is going to go with something else so I think that this should be good enough and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to widen it out and thin it out also. Don't forget to flip 
the piece from time to time because if you don't only what is on top is going to widen out more than what is on the bottom so this is what polymer clay does so whoever's on top gets even more surface kind of like real life right for humans and because I did that dirty one, you can see that what I'm getting now are some, that's why I kept the, the light a little bit um, on the dark side, so you can see all the, all the effects. So no, don't consider this one, this one is what was the end of the cane, which should be this got a little bit of air inside but I don't care because that's uh, not what I'm going to use should have been reduced a little bit more but it was already small so you see all these wave like effects that you obtain by doing that dirty color of course you can do this with other colors you can do this with white and turquoise you can replace the ultramarine with turquoise with the jungle green you'll get a different type of teal much lighter but now let me just do it in thin it out in one direction so that i'm going to put it in the machine going this direction to make it direction to make it thinner <coughs> I didn't get it a little crumpling so I'm going to continue by hand very very gently it on top of my yellow my yellow having the the sheen obtained I forgot to put it on the second setting my first setting on the machine gives me the gear lines and I'm going to place this with a lot of care to not get to use the texture the idea is that you get some nautilus gold over the this background of um, ocean water thing so I want to use this big one in the middle Before I do anything, let me use some armor on. And then you'll have to keep your fingers crossed that I do <laughs> that I do a good job with getting the texture imprint. I did, I even broke this. <laughs> Let's get this back here. All right. Yes, you can do that if you're <laughs> too forceful with the, what did I do with this? Okay. So, wipe my blade.
you can also use this in gray um, using a marble and uh, I would add I would make it like half and half gold and silver if you want to have the um, effect of fossil in stone not as deep as I would have liked it but it is deep enough to get the effect that I was looking for open a new package of blade soon because this one really starts dragging just a minute let me see the other one maybe I'm gonna have to retire one of these because it's really dragging I mean, I know the white is sticky, but not at this point. So what you want to get is some of the gold showing up, not a lot of it. I wish this texture and generally most of Helen Braille's textures were a little bit deeper. because it would allow more effects ah, see how it just drags it's so sticky so yeah that white is not bad just for canes it's also bad for mokumegane bit too much but that's fine I'm going to just give it extra hi Mona hi Karen hi Christina Just waiting for the waiting to be broken in because this is just too much. Because the um, uh, Skinner brand is dirty, you will get all kinds of effects. I'm going to, of course, uh, focus in a close-up when I'm done with, not just with the, the shaving, but also with uh, resining. So you can see all the prettiness, see all the prettiness of this. I'm just 
want a little bit more off of here. And off of here. You have to be very careful with this one because they are so, so sharp when they just come out of the box. It's unbelievable. This little spot here that's kind of empty of texture. Talking about here, right here. That's okay. You can always rewatch them, watch them on replay. That's just fine. So, I am going to use. First of all, I need to burnish it. set it to the side before uh, doing anything else with it but as I promised I'm going to refocus first so you can have a better look yeah it's the blade problem it's not the uh, And also the texture, that's when the texture is not very deep, that's what happens. All right, so let me move this window out of my face. So these are all the effects you get. As you can see, it's quite quite fabulous and imagine that you have this with uh, gray and uh, silver grayish gold this will be a, a gray instead of blue and the silverish gold is going to look exactly like a fossil but this is more like seaside and sun and stuff now let's go to the next one and for the next one I am going to have to do something that a lot of us hate but it has to be done and there's that I'm going to be very careful so I don't spill anything, knowing my luck and my hands habit of dropping stuff. Accidents might happen. I just have to warn you about that. Where's my little spoon thingy? Holes. Tada glitter. And it's a relatively crappy one. It's one of those that was on sale at Hobby Lobby, I think. Fairy dust. Fine glitter. I think. Guess I lost that sale thing and you don't want too much of it but I 
I also don't want to put it too much through the machine, so I'm going to try and minimize the sprinkling all over. Because you know what happens with glitter. Whenever you work with glitter, it's going to show up even in the in the places you last thing they are. Yeah, it's the, the blade. Remember in one of my first in that uh, Mokumegane mini series I made years ago, I didn't have a lot of stuff and I didn't have a good blade and it was so hard to shave with a bad blade. Minimizing the glittering thing. And also don't forget to use armor on the on the blade because it starts getting sticky after you do at least I mean, even sometimes after one pass, but definitely after two or three passes. I didn't, haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a long time, and I really, really need new blade, new rigid blades. And you can only find them at Hobby Lobby, and most of the time they are not in their online store. But I'll have to check. They are Amacos, but. Everywhere else, the blades that have that Amaco thing do not look like those blades. Are definitely not like those blades. I'm trying to get a good mix of it and as you can see my black is fairly sticky too oh yes it is I would call it more like poison ivy okay so I think I'm good enough Maybe, hopefully, let me try. I have enough glitter per clay. Actually, you know what? It could use a little bit more. What did I do with the glitter? Maybe it's a sign that I shouldn't add more. Oh, there it is. I found it. I should add more. Yeah, and that is valid also for uh, not in such a bad way, but it's also valid for uh, mylar flakes and uh, gold leaf. As I said, you find that glitter even in crevices you wouldn't expect it to be. I think I said enough to be understood. And they're like, what the heck? Why is my toilet paper so glitterific? Kind of like what? I don't know if you've ever watched, uh, and I might play it for you, if you've ever watched or followed Finnegan's Facebook page. But one time around Valentine's Day, I did a little bit of a, um, decoration around the house. And he found some glitter covered hearts with fake 
flowers and decided that they were good to chew so there you go while I'm mixing this and then he had the terrific poops You can have put glitter again. And there we go. So yeah, don't worry, he never... I mean, normally, he doesn't swallow what he chews on, but being glitter, probably stuck to his little tongue so yeah with uh, normally with uh, mylar flakes and with mica and with um, metal foil uh, flakes mostly I use a mask Yeah, you be, have to be careful about the spongy thing. Uh, they can actually do intestinal obstructions. Oh, I am so sorry, Mom, to hear that, Mona. That is horrible. For this one, as I said, we're gonna use the white mica. And as before, hi Kanchana. Yeah, I have a neighbor whose cat has the habit of munching on like Walmart bags. The problem is that, look what I did. The problem problem is that he actually swallows what he chews out of them. So, it's not that good. Yeah, this uh, black was so sticky that I thought of leaving it out for... It was like... 12 hours. Oh God, look at all this. Look at all this glitter. And now I guess it might have been a little bit too much to leave out. Yeah, I still remember the when I was um, scouting one of a kind dolls. I was also making separately fairy wings for sale, and those always had glitter and all kinds of stuff. Oh, thank you! I am so glad, Mona. And I had to get a special, oh, look what I did, God damn it, a special day for doing anything related to fairy wings, because I knew that everything would be all over the place. Alrighty, let's try this again. 
<laughs> and thank you, Kaljana. Yeah, Kaljana is just the name of the channel. A lot of people think it's my name, but when I uh, when I was opening the channel, I put a lot of thought in the name and. Uh, I thought and thought and thought and then um, I do understand a bit of Sanskrit because of my academic studies and uh, I decided that uh, Kalyana, Kalyana in ancient Sanskrit means um, beautiful, uh, kind of unique, exquisite. So I thought uh, it's a good name for the channel. Unfortunately, I didn't think the, about the fact that a lot of people don't know that unless they're Indians. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, Crystal. All right. Now, wish me luck. Wish me luck. So, no, my name is Day. I mean, D-A-Y, like in day and night. All right. Let's go. Oh, I hope I did a good job, and of course I did again the the over shaving thing, because I'm I I guess I'm pushing too much that way, not just so much, but it's impossible for me from this position to push down. You know, it's a uh, impossible. And of course, I had to drop some. By the way, picking something from the floor when sitting on a chair worked way better when I wasn't weighing this much. But yeah, uh, thank you, Crystal. But I hope now that this this week with the weather cooling, I'll be able to do a few walks. And then we're gonna have again another week of the hundreds. All right, now let's see how this is going to come out. I'm sure that it's going to be beautiful. Most of the time when I uh, create stuff, because all the time I have this question, how do you come up with these ideas? Most of the time I just think of them and I have a very, I'm very visual, so I'm able to imagine how things would look. I think my black was not thin enough. Uh, how things would look. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shave this evenly and nicely. Uh -huh. I'm cheating right now. <laughs> I am cheating. I'm getting off the extra black without touching the white. And I'm going to put on the texture again because my black was not thin enough. I should have gone with sticky black. <laughs> All kinds of things happen. Yeah, I was told one time, I mean, not just one time, but I was told several times by different people that they like the fact that not just in my lives, but also sometimes in my pre-made videos, I show mistakes. And not just that I show mistakes, but I show how to fix them. and. That is the main reason, and they said that this uh, this way you come out as very genuine. And I'm like, 
Well, duh, do you think that my hands work as fast as you see them working in my uploaded videos? No, it's just... The video is sped up because I don't want to keep you there for 20 minutes watching me doing the same and the same and the same and the same thing over and over. You're gonna get bored. So We are all humans. We all make mistakes. Only some of us don't like to be reminded of that fact and that's fine you know people have different ways of coping with different things and people have different issues in their lives we are not all the same we are all unique like snowflakes I used to uh, see in Romanian um, the snowflake. There is no, you know, the pejorative meaning of snowflake, like in English. And my mom told me that when I was little, <laughs> they're trying to explain to me the fact that people are different and they react different to things and that they have different feelings and not everybody's the same and they gave me the example of snowflakes and as it happens it was winter so my dad was able to go with me outside and it was just a very gentle snow he caught a few snowflakes and he showed me that each of them was shaped differently so, understood the concept that you need like snowflakes and then I was told that I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought and then I came up with the gem, hey, but I am more unique than others, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess I have a very high opinion of myself even since I was a baby. which a lot of people didn't like me. I don't know why, in, there's a, a very weird uh, perception and I noticed it. Most of the time when there's something and it's not just now with the social media that this problem happens. Um, oh, congratulations, can I have some too? With me, it's not my eating habits. With me, it's my thyroid. Um, yeah, as I was saying, when you hear the story about somebody who managed to do this and manage to do that and they are so confident and stuff and everybody like, oh my god they are so cool and everybody admires them but when it is somebody who has the same self-confidence but people have to deal with them in real life oh my god they are so arrogant I can't stand them and think about it it's true because surprise surprise self-confidence implies a little bit of narcissism I mean you kind of need to like yourself to be confident in yourself all right let's try this again yeah I tried to use the same uh, weight loss thing that I used back in 2015 the Atkins not working this time because it's not a matter of just losing regular weight it's a matter of thyroid not working right and I have another thing that's in the last 
couple of years. And I generally eat fairly low carb. I mean, not Atkins type low carb because now I eat tomatoes and oranges and stuff. But I can eat potatoes from time to time without a problem. But if I eat regular bread, I mean, any, anything with regular flour, you know, I mean, it can be bread, it can be, I don't know, donuts, it can be pastries, anything that has regular flour, I get the most horrendous cramps in my toes. And they are super painful. Super, super painful. Okay, what you'll have to be careful and make sure that you get are the little spirals in the nautilus not so much focus on the i mean of course you can get some of the lines but what you need to focus the most is to have the shaving on the spiral that defines the shape of the nautilus i don't even know if this is a nautilus and not just a you know sea snail And surprise, surprise, even when it's so dry, it's still a little sticky, this stupid black. As I was saying, you normally you're supposed to do uh, certain uh, distance keep your distance but when you want to do spot do a slightly slightly uh, curve of your blade here yeah, I'm gouging a little bit too much but that's fine because I can do the I need to grab this area here mm -hmm. It's almost shadowy, but once it's going to get uh, properly shaved and get the mica shift effect and the resin or sanding plus buffing, it's going to look much better. So yeah, it's a different way of shaving it, but uh, you need to take a little bit of time and do it nevertheless. So that it can be seen what is in here. That it is a Nautilus or snail. Let's see how sticky it is. It sticks to the blade even. Brand new blade. Still in the box. Ah. Okay, I'm starting to lose my patience and soon I'm going to start hurting. So let's call this done. Burnish it some. Oh, 
puppy. Oh yeah, he, he ears. Couldn't be two ducks quarreling. You know. Raw chalk test. still not very visible well visible because still kind of shiny and there we go maybe farther but it will be visible once I resin it so Let's go ahead and do this as, where's my, I have a mirror here, I know I have a mirror here. Let's do this as a custom, custom shape. One of those iron shapes trying to keep as much of the design as possible so yeah that's a good pendant pendant t-shape this little area kind of comes off the mirror mirror on the wall and there we go so let us resin this and then do something about the other one And you know, I normally don't use glitter, but I thought that for this specific design, a little bit of glitter was called for. This would be good for a bracelet. You can do a much longer a bracelet in two parts. Even. Don't tell me I'm sometimes uh, I look in the mirror and I see my mother and it's a scary scary thought. All right now I want to do the same thing with this possibly but because of the way this is shaped I think I'm going to go for a more rounded rectangle. So 
definitely I want to keep this part, right? Okay, more on a larger side, and I want to keep this part. And I want to keep some of this part. Trapezoid a rectangular, but it's okay. So let's see how this is going to look once it's resin slash sanded and worked. By the way, I'm, I recommend, I mean, if you like this kind of stuff, I I am very, I like the Asian fantasy drama and I've always been very interested in various cultures around the world and I find the mythology of um, Eastern Asia very, very fascinating. So there's a series on Prime called uh, Nine-Tailed. And saying that, you already know what I'm talking about. But it has a more modern aspect to it. And it is very comical. It's Korean. So it's more Gumiho style. And I love to listen to Korean. To the Korean language. They sound like they are snubbing each other all the time because of the melody of the language. Several actual Korean series I like. Some are historical, some are fantastic fantasy style things, some are comedy, or some are all of the above. Yeah, I was thinking about starting to learn it. I already figured out a few words. All right. So while that one is doing its business, let's take a look at this one close up. Let me get the light in a more So as you can see, there is the, oops, what are you doing? I don't want to mix, I was clicking on the wrong thing, sorry. And there we go. Alrighty, so now you can see it better. The glitter doesn't come up very good in this light, but hi, Abonda. Um, Abonda, it depends. 
what it is because and of your level of craftsmanship because it's something it's one thing for a beginner to take an hour to do something another thing for a master to take an hour to do something but the main thing that you need to keep in mind if you want to sell and I actually do have on my blog let me um, try and find it to link it to you try and search it. It's about Oops, sorry. Okay, I have this article on how to design your jewelry. Um, the mistake of many beginners is that they design their jewelry thinking about themselves. Uh, this article I wrote explains a lot on um, um, how to do it and honestly if it takes you too long to do something uh, just don't do it because you won't be able to sell to be worth your time right and uh, it's very important if you want to make an income okay so now there's a little bit more glitter to it and you can see the mica shift too if you want to make an income you need to find that fine line between something that is pretty without requiring a ton of work because the the price is very dependent on your name unless you are an absolutely awesome artist from the very beginning I like this one uh, from the very beginning it's going to be difficult to sell with higher prices if nobody knows you unless your work is super total exquisite right so yeah, so these would be the, the two experiments with the same type of technique, but two different clays. So same type of technique, same uh, texture, two different clays. Yeah. So let me get the focus back to where it belongs. zoom a bit here there we go so that you can see a bit better yeah I got the that's why I wanted to do even if it was a line it would still be something good showing so yeah two completely different looks using the same technique the same uh, texture but different colors and different concepts so this one is supposed to show more like summer ocean it actually ended up looking almost like a sunset sunrise something still looks gorgeous and this one is more in a style of antique stuff. Yes, absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed this and you'll try your own. And um, good luck with everything you'll be doing. Okay? And I will see you all next Sunday when 
I know that we were supposed to this Sunday to do more of the Mokumegane into four gemstone thing, but as I said, it's cooled off outside, so I didn't have time to work a lot on this kind of stuff. So this I'm really hoping this week to catch up on a lot of things. So I'll be sure that Saturday is supposed to be hot again, so I'll take the day off Saturday. Oh, as much as I can. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go outside and enjoy while it's still, it's supposed to be only like 88 high today. So that's like, oh my God. Thank you. See you next Sunday. Bye.